All right guys, so I'm doing the vlogging shot again. I haven't done this in a while, so we're gonna go ahead and bring it back because I miss vlogging. Ah, I just don't have anything to vlog about that's really that important or amazing, but uh, maybe eventually soon I'll do a cool vlogging video. But for now, let's get into another tech review uh, regarding my Ronin S gimbal setup with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, or Pocket 4K. Let's do it now. Oh man, okay. Uh, so here's the deal. Today I picked up a Xeon Transmount Mini Dual Grip. A lot of you may be hating on me because I'm putting a Xeon grip on my Ronin S and I would like to apologize. However, I did want to say that this is probably one of the best handles I could find on the market for the price and for what I need it for. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this guy and see what's inside and why I'm going to use this thing. There you have it folks, the Zhiyun Crane, or the Zhiyun Transmount Mini Dual Grip. The reason, the main reason why I like this grip in particular, one, it has a strap, okay? It's necessary. Two, it has this mounting portion on it. The reason why I need that is from my previous video. Watch my previous video if you haven't done so already. This will allow me to mount a Field monitor, external light source, like so, to my Ronin S. And I'm able to get low or high shots uh, and adjust my views and see my monitor as I'm filming. It's A plus, guys. It makes it really, really, uh, <laughs> really, really capable rig setup. And not, not to mention it looks really cool when you have a big, huge Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K on this Ronin S gimbal mounted together with this awesome monitor and grip. Oh gosh. Okay, a few things to mention. Uh, recently I did use this at a 4K, 5, 5K charity run uh, for Purple Stride event. The video is in the link up top. Um, I use this for there. One of the biggest reasons why I decided to get the dual grip is because when I previously did a wedding uh, with the Ronin S all day for about 12 hours straight, this thing is incredibly heavy. Not only that, it wears down your wrists and your arms and it, the pressure and the weight goes all the way to your shoulders if you're holding it for that amount of time throughout the entire day. By having the dual grip, I'm able to transfer that weight or move it over so I can hold it on the left hand or at the same time, I can alleviate at least half of that weight with both hands. So I can have more stable shots, uh, less weight on one side, but also I'm able to control it a little bit better at the same time. So this is definitely uh, something I would recommend if you don't have it yet for your Ronin S. Uh, there are other options available. You can get the dual grip that goes uh, to the Ronin S that you pretty much slide your Ronin S in the center of. To me, that looks a little bit uh, funky um, and it lit us, I just feel like it's a little bit over the top and it kind of turns this Ronin S into a Ronin M, which is not why I purchased this in the first place. But yeah, that's the Xeon Transmount Mini Dual Grip unboxing for today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Highly recommend it if you need a grip for your Ronin S or for any other uh, handheld gimbal, I would definitely recommend it. It has the grip strap and it's fully aluminum alloy built through and throughout. It mounts up to your bottom of your rig so that you can mount in your tripod if needed as well. And then you have the field monitor or light mount that you can put right here so you can mount any of these other options. Not only that, you could probably put a microphone as well. 
have at it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, just stay cool, stay awesome. Peace. Oh,